What's going on everyone, Talon back here, and today, Global, we actually have a pretty big update for you, and it's not what we were expecting, but it kind of lines up with what happened last time with the Vegeta Blue and everything, but with everything going on with the movie and everything, like I said, kind of random, so let's get straight into all the information. Uh, courtesy of Team Dokener, he actually did a uh, message out to me, and I asked him, you know, what was going on, and he said, yeah, it's, you know, this is all legit, and he's like, all right, I'm like, all right, you've been right before every single time, dude, so here we go. So you guys are apparently getting the Doken Fest exclusive for Global at the moment, for, you know, whenever JP eventually gets it, potentially, although we still haven't even gotten those Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, so... Who's to say? But anyway, nonetheless, you guys are getting hit for Christmas, actually. Um, so it's funny, he did this little like kind of coded way of I guess putting the message out for whatever his whatever his own reasons were. I'm not really sure on that. But uh basically, uh I went in there, I just basically just typed it into Google Translate here, as you can see, and it says for Christmas, a certain assassin will arrive. This time it should be really respect. I mean, obviously it's not perfect. Google Translate's never perfect or anything. You try doing any amount of Japanese into here, and you know that you're just like, oh well, that's not the case, is it now? So uh and, but anyway, yeah, so it looks like globally for Christmas, you guys are gonna be getting your Doken Fest hits, which then probably means for New Year's, you'll you know, if if things are still going on time that we're expecting it. Because again, JP, we're expecting this as well. Gogeta Blue and Super Saiyan Broly, or Full Power Super Saiyan Broly, or however, whatever you want to call them, essentially, will be for New Year's, essentially. If they're still going to do that whole combined thing, if it will be a combined and dual Doken Fest, or if they're simply going to do events that are combined together, but Global, you're getting this hit, and we're getting the Broly. I, I honestly have no idea. Uh, you know, things are still up in the air. I know people have said one thing, things have said another, and all that fun stuff, so I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But I didn't, you know, I don't want to make this video too, too much longer. But basically, though, I do also want to go over, though, what do we think the hit is going to do? And I, that's my question to everybody, both on JP and Global. What do you think this Doken Fest hit is going to do? Because let's be honest here, aside from the STR hit support units, none of the hits in the game are good. I, I'm, I'm sorry, they just aren't. I mean, I mean, look at look at hits here who got, who got his Doken Awakened about a year ago. Attack up 80%, disables enemy's guard with a high chance to stun the attacked enemy. That high chance to stun the attacked enemy is not bad passive, but, you know, putting him onto certain teams and everything just simply doesn't work. I mean, he doesn't even get, um, you know, like tournament of power or anything like that, because again, he is from a certain different time, apparently. So that's that's one thing right there. Heck, even his AGL one doesn't even get it. If I remember correctly, a Universe of Fire 6, he doesn't even get that. Uh, and again, this AGL one was from the World Tournament. Attack and defense up 60% while performing a super attack. Medium chance to stun the attacked enemy as a first attacker in the turn. He has to be at the beginning. And if they are attacking before he gets to attack, he's taking all that damage because his passive hasn't activated to give him that 60% defense right there. So, ugh, this is just... It's not good. And then again, the STR one. He's a great support unit because it's key plus three to all extreme or all his STR types. And an extreme STR gets the attack and defense of 40% in addition. But other than that, he doesn't actually have any good links that actually link up with everyone else. Although Chalky Speed, which is in by I guess kind of technically works. But yeah, other than that, that's basically it in terms of the hit. So it's just like, what is this new hit gonna do? And I know some people are speculating that maybe we're gonna get something along the lines of maybe a representatives of, you know, Universe 6 from the Tournament of Power. But again, that category itself would be very condensed. I mean, if you even click on the link itself, Warriors of Universe 6, essentially, and you go in here, you have Khalifa, you have Kaba, you've got Kale, you've got Khalifa, that's four. You're gonna have Hit as the leader, and then you just have different versions of them. I mean, I know, like, obviously you have, like, Super Saiyan 2, Kale, you have Super Saiyan, Khalif, you know, all these different guys, you know, people in here and everything. And then you've got Frost, but Frost is an SR. He's not even that good. So it's just like, that's a very limiting team right there. And I don't particularly see them doing that unless they also bring out new units or new versions, like say the Namekians that were from the tournament and everything. Other than that, I really don't, I don't know what this hit would could potentially do in terms of a leader skill. Uh, maybe he's gonna be a, I'm, I'm just using a very, you know, term that we all know here, a, an experienced fighters category or something like that, but, you know, obviously it's gonna delve more into like, you know, Universe 7, obviously, Universe 11, all those characters they can combine or something like that. Uh, maybe he will be another version of a, you know, tournament of survival power category like Jiren is or something like, I don't know. I mean, it, it'd be really interesting. So I want to know your thoughts down below in the comments right now. What do you think this new hit could potentially do? And also for his passive, 
Personally, for me, if Hick can get something along the lines of, you know, at least, at least 120 to 130% up in the attack and defense, no turn restriction or no, you know, has to be in the first slot BS or anything like that. If he can at least get that, I would say a high chance to, you know, stun the enemy if he just simply attacks them or something like that, or he lowers their attack or something. And then his super attack maybe can bypass uh, certain events, you know, guards. Because as you guys know, stunning doesn't do much these days in Doken events, except for like maybe certain ones or up to a certain part of the event. But then by the time you get to the final part of it, you're just like, oh, well, nope you know you can't stun him anymore maybe hit can bypass it or something like that or allow your team to bypass that and i actually kind of goes more into like the whole like what me and uh some other people were thinking about when it comes to greatly lowering defense which someone came up with in one of my old video topics so i don't know maybe they're finally gonna start changing that stuff i don't really know but let me know your thoughts down below because hopefully hit doesn't just get the generic stuff and just maybe a good leader skill or something like that um his links i know will probably suffer if, if any of the other, you know, uh, hits are any indication, he, you know, he'll get Fierce Battle probably because he'll be a Token Fest exclusive, but he's going to get Shocking Speed, which is not bad, but then he's going to get things like In Fighter and, you know, I don't even know what uh, he has anymore. Uh, Supre yeah, Supreme Warrior Experience Fighter, which isn't bad. Cold Judgment In Fighter though, and that that's a little tricky to get going sometimes. Um, Shocking Speed isn't, again, too bad. Supreme Warrior is kind of an F, I guess. I mean, what is Supreme Warrior? I don't even know. Key plus one. It's not. Oh, man. That was extremely limited. Never mind. I take that back wholeheartedly. So, yeah. No. Uh, Supreme Warriors, man. That's even that's even a worse category. Or at least worse link than I thought it was. So, I don't know. Let me know your all thoughts, guys. Down below in the comments as always. And what do you think of this actually coming to Christmas and everything? I mean, this is probably going to be your it's gonna be your Christmas banner from the looks of it. Maybe it includes Kai's as well if you summon on it. I'm not really sure, but it's a Doken Fest. So maybe it's maybe it's going to be one of those Doken Fest cards. It's going to be like the AGL Tapion where he came in the, in the Double Raids banner last year on JP. Uh, he, is, he uses his own Doken Fest medals though. He is a Doken Fest card, but he's available in every single cat, you know, every single banner essentially. So who knows? Maybe that's the way the hit's going to be. So if he is like that though, then I think most people are probably going to skip this banner. I mean, I think for the most part, most people are going to skip this banner no matter what. But, you know, for those who may be worried about it and maybe hit actually does become good, if they make him like the AGL Tapion, that could be something right there. So, anyway, guys, like I said before, and I'll say it for the last time, let me know all your thoughts down below in the comments. As always, leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you happen to be new. It's coming up soon, so next week we'll have to wait and see. So, thank you for everyone that stopped by. Until next time, everyone, I'll see you all in the next one.